Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Gold Sigma Nuzlocke. This is part 11 in this episode. We're here ready with our Squirt Bottle to go ahead and get ourselves our pseudo Wudo encounter. Last episode, we uh, we saw something strange. We saw a Sleep Powder Mudkip. So, who knows? Maybe we're encountering ourselves a nice, old, trustworthy Spore Pseudo Wudo. The option's there. We'll see. We hold contests regularly in the park. You should give it a shot. Looks like we are not able to do a contest on Friday. I was kind of hoping we would be able to, but it seems like maybe not. We'll have a quick check down here. The door is closed. Friday is not a day when we can go into the park either. Oh, well, we can get into the park, but we can't do a bug catching competition. When is the next bug catching contest going to be? Is that all? Is that all you're gonna say? I thought you're the one that's gonna have the answers to that, not me. Why is he asking me the question? I'm upset. Route 36. Okay, first of all, I see Team Rocket and Zinnia up there, so that's exciting. A fruit bearing tree, we got ourselves a Jaboka berry. I have no idea what that berry does. In all honesty, I have no idea. So did we get ourselves an encounter on Route 36 at all? Because I know we had about trees and got ourselves a Wurmple, which doesn't actually exist because of the crash, so we actually don't have that Wurmple, and we're probably never gonna get that Wurmple. But that's fine, I guess. Uh, no, I think we have our encounter here still to get. I'm going to read your thoughts. Um, okay. At the moment, I'm thinking about Sporsudo Wudo, so good luck with that. They might confuse you in your battle. Abra. You should listen, buddy. Uh, I know a good trade deal you can you can make. That Abra, go get a Shinx. There's a dude trading Shinx for Abra. Don't miss out. Definitely don't miss out. You already have a Kadabra. It gives you some type diversity. There is nothing for you to lose, buddy. Just go. Did you just? He outplayed me. I was just absolutely outplayed. But we have. I mean, I guess Ice Punch is. Five extra damage, so I suppose it's worth going for as we don't outspeed and we can't get the fledged chance anyway. So I suppose we'll go for this. We do land it after the Kinesis, thankfully. If he has an Alkazam as well, I'm scared. Super Potion. Again, random trainers with potions. I need to get used to this. Every time I'm shocked, and I just shouldn't be. We have to get it, get it into our heads. The random trainers can have potions. Freeze! Nice. Very, very nice. Frozen solid. I never thought we would see the freeze. I think even in an earlier episode, I said, there is no way we get the freeze. That's why I said about sheer force. That was when I said it. Um. Huh. We got ourselves a freeze. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Uh, Natu, we can use ourselves shacks for this as we didn't really get a whole lot of time with Luxio. We probably did get a perfectly fine amount of time with Luxio. I just want to use it more because it's my favorite Pokemon. Uh, hopefully everyone understands that. I can't be the only one guilty of wanting to just run through an entire game with my favorite Pokemon. We get a crit because Luxio is the best. Just saying, that's exactly how that works. And we gain a nice amount of XP. I misread you. Yeah, understandable. If I'm thinking about a pseudo Wudo with Spore, it's only natural to assume that. Route 35, we got ourselves an encounter. This is a different route to that. I think we can get an encounter here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's a route in Johto somewhere where it's the same route as an earlier route. I'm thinking of Route 45 or 46, aren't I? And I think we skipped that encounter as well. So actually, we should be a-okay. Tangler. This brings me to a point I said earlier on of I really don't know how to fight grass types with this team. If we can get a poison type move on Solus, that would really help. But I mean, the only move that's going to be effective is going to be Sludge Bomb. So until we get Sludge Bomb, it's not great. Yes, we have Ice Punch on Croconaw, but there's no way I'm going for Ice Punch against Tangler. I'm just not that confident. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Tangler's defense is reasonable. His special attack is reasonable. I don't want to get hit by an absorb. That's a scary move. Tentacle absorb is a scary move. 
fine. Absorb, not entirely scary. Mega Drain, on the other hand, that would actually be scary. Oops, computation error. Is Tangler actually a machine? Plot twist. Uh, let us see what we can get as our encounter. Our encounter is going to be... Ooh. I don't hate that. I don't hate that because Stantler is unique. Okay, in terms of actual ability, is it good? Uh, debatable. Debatable. Okay, it has good points. One of them being... It's unique. There we go. Okay, that's about all it has going for it. But still, I'll take it. It's better than a Hoot Hoot or a Pidgey, so you know what? Sure. Tackle. Does a very, very mediocre amount of damage. We can probably go for a shock just fine. Even over crit, I shouldn't take it out. It doesn't. Has the Astonish, so I mean, if we wanted to use it for the Ghost Gym. Astonish could, you know, maybe tickle a Pokemon. And because of its normal typing, it wouldn't get O-Code back. Uh, still, not really what I want to use. Uh, but it's there. It's definitely there as an option. Gives us a little bit of a replacement for the Noodle, I guess? Although I really don't want to lose the noodle, I would swap out and keep the noodle alive. I would much rather let Onyx go down, for example, than the noodle. So I don't have any intention of letting the noodle go. You're hard to catch, aren't you? Leah, I'm gonna swap into Onyx now that I've brought that up. As Onyx will be able to take any of these moves completely fine, unless it whips out Horn Leech, which it really shouldn't because that would be insane, <laughs> and that move doesn't exist in this game. However, considering the moves we've seen, maybe I shouldn't be saying it doesn't exist, okay? Maybe I shouldn't. After we've seen a Chikorita level 5 with a full move set, with no attacking moves, and a Mudkip with Sleep Powder, is Horn Leech Sandler really the craziest thing to imagine? Probably not. Probably not. We catch ourselves a Stantler. Nice and easy. Uh, what do we want to name this Stantler? I have a name. Okay. Those who stare at his antlers will gradually lose control of their senses and be unable to stand? That's different. Um, I don't know if this name is going to fit. Well, you know what? If it doesn't, it's fine. It does fit. Just. Cornflakes barely fits. If not, I would have called it corn, and that wouldn't have been the same. That would have not had the same effect. Uh, let's swap in steak, I guess. I need to stop naming all my Pokemon after food, but I can't. Wow, that tree looks like n any- Ah? Wow, that tree looks nothing like anything I've ever seen. Okay, I can read, I swear. I wonder who I can ask about it. Isn't there a flower shop nearby? Well, we have ourselves the square bowl. Uh, let's do this the smart way. We're gonna potion Shax. We're gonna lead with Shax, and we're gonna fund away first turn. That way we get the intimidate off as well. Look at the strategy we're having here. Then we'll swap into state to try and weaken it. It's a weird tree. Use the squirt bowl. Yeah, sure. The weird tree doesn't like the squirt bowl. I didn't get to say it jiggle. What, what? What? Oh. I don't want to train up, I'm honestly. I don't. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I really don't want to train up, I'm honestly. It has flail. Okay. Still, it's level 10, and I don't think a level 10 flail is going to do too much. That still does one damage. Okay, that's... Yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen enough of that. Four damage? Five damage! Whoa, he's strong. Okay. We better calm this guy down with a Pokeball real quick, or else my team... Whew, I don't want to think about what could happen to my team if this level 10 Bonsly was to, to get angry or something. Four damage. Now you've done it. 
Now you've done it. Now I'm bringing in the frat. I don't know why I'm doing this. I didn't really need to do this. Two damage. Two whole damage. Whoa. Whoa. Still, this is a stats encounter. We'll happily pick it up, I guess. Uh, it stops us encountering Bonsly or Pseudo Wudo in the future. As unlikely as that really was. Free damage from Flail. I don't really want to hit it again. I really don't. However, I might have to. Oh, he could use a Great Ball to stop being stingy. I suppose that is an option. I don't like this option. Okay, looks like we have to hit it again. Um, I guess I'm going for Headbutt. Don't KO it. A little bit close. Oh, I made Flail very, very powerful with that. Then again, it's Flail from a level 10 Bonsley. So I suppose it could be worse. It's really not easy to capture, is it? We're really playing the Flail game. Huh. Like I said, stop being stingy. Just use the Great Balls. Which, we're gonna catch this, okay, guys? We're gonna catch this. Just... We're gonna catch this. We are. Okay. All we need to do is pray. We just need to pray. See? See? That's all we need to do. Okay. Right. Oh boy. That was surprisingly difficult. I did not expect such a fight from a Bonsly. Rasta, Of course. How could I forget that every Pokemon is Rasta in every game? <laughs> um, right. You are gonna be called... Uh, lemon. I said I wasn't gonna go with the food, and then I think of a food, and then... <sighs> I'm bad at this. I'm bad at not thinking of foods. So this was the other area that I saw as Route 36, which is why I remembered it. We did never come into the trick house. We completely skipped over the trick house. Let's put Solus in front and go into the trick house. We don't have Cut anymore, so I hope we don't need Cut in here. Hello, kid. Are you ready for an exciting adventure in the trick house? Already then? I'll be waiting for you. Catch me if you can. Yak 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 Oof. Yak 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 Oh, we didn't need cut. Uh... I guess I wouldn't mind teaching cut to Lanoodle, but at the same time, we don't... We can just come back here another time. <laughs> I'm still postponing this area for later. It's fine. Did you clear that wretched tree? Honestly, I'm so sorry. He was... He doesn't mean it. I'm impressed. I want you to have this. HM06. That happens to be Rock Smash. You can shatter rocks with just a single, well-aimed smack. If any rocks are on your way, just smash them up. Uh, I guess we'll have a check and see if maybe Onyx could learn that. It would definitely be better on, um, on Machop, sure. But Onyx can learn it, and if I'm gonna make a Pokemon HM Slave, it's definitely gonna be Onyx. I wanna keep Screech. Am I willing to get rid of Headbutt for Rock Smash? I am. Screech is useful because it can make things weaker for our other Pokemon in a horrible situation. Headbutt, while its base power is reasonable, we do also have Dig. So I imagine for the most part we all just use Dig instead. Route 56, Ecritic City. Okay. Oh, right, yeah. Saw this earlier. What you've got? Where's your leader? Again. Where's your leader? I don't know. Please don't hurt us. Forget this girl. We need to do our mission. That lighthouse is in Olivine City, right? Lighthouse. Amphi? Don't you hurt Amphi. Don't you hurt Amphi. Yeah, we better get going. Don't, don't you, don't you dare. Darn, they got away. I let them slip through my fingers again. Hey, it's you again. Well, I gotta go. Although I can't remember. Where is he? What should I do? This isn't the time to doubt. I have to get those badges. Where is he? Onion? No. He? Rayquaza? <laughs> I must save 
the long night is coming for us all. Darkrai? I'll meet you in Ecritique City after you get your badge. I'll be looking for... I need to remember. Is this like... a Darkrai dream kind of situation going on here? Also, Route 37, this is another encounter. We are racking up the encounters lately. Uh, but we will put our Thunder Wave Pokemon in front as I run straight into uh, another trainer. Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon are these three nameless Pokemon. Are you talking about the legendary Dog Lore? For those that don't know, uh, the story goes that the Ecritique, the building in Ecritique burned down with three Pokemon inside and they were resurrected by Hoa. And obviously, judging by the types, and the fact that the legendary Pokemon of Raikou, Entei, and Suicune are all dogs, it makes a lot of sense that the three Pokemon that died in the fire to get resurrected as the legendaries would be good old, why can't I remember, Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon. So, that's how the story goes. It's still just a theory, there's no real confirmation for it, but at the same time, the theory really does fit. Then again, there's a lot of weird theories, like Clefable and Gengar, and Gengar being Clefable's shadow that came to life. I do like these fairies, though. They, they make the game just a little bit more interesting. Uh, like Charmander and Cubone being really similar. Stuff like that. Then again, a lot of this stems from, like, Gen 1. A lot of the weird lore stuff is Gen 1. It kind of... A lot of the lore doesn't really apply in later generations. Which is a bit sad. Or maybe we just haven't found a lot of it that have put in. That's another way of looking at it. There could be a ton of hidden lore in, like, Gen 6 and 7 that I just haven't heard of. Maybe a lot of people have heard of lore. Who knows? Who knows? Although, I think Gen 1 has the best lore. Well, Gen 1 and Gen 2. I definitely feel like they have the best lore. Wigglytuff, can you not defense curl? That's the scariest thing you can do right now. Actually, the scariest thing you can do right now is, like, whip out Moonblast. That would terrify me. But still, Defense Curl is a pretty close second. Sing. You know, I prefer the Sing to the actual battle music, I'll admit. Uh, let's just swap into the Noodle. The Noodle can handle this just fine. The Noodle isn't asleep, which is a big bonus. Double Slap misses. And now we get to prove why we are the Flinch Master if this doesn't KO. This Lanoodle is amazing. It just flinches. It just does what I need it to. I love Lanoodle. Best Pokemon right here. Clef Fable was staying in with the Flinch Master. You can't defeat us. You have four Pokemon. I was struggling with your first Pokemon. Okay. Double Slap. Three damage at a time is uh, not that scary. Really not that scary. Still, you know, when we get our Ghastly Evolve, we can bring the Ghastly in here and uh, be like, hey, Gengar, fight the Fable, and then we can really see how similar they are. That'll be fun. Uh, we didn't get any flinches with the Flinch Master, but then again, I wasn't asking for flinches. You see, that's how it works. Me and Lanoodle, we have a good relationship going here. If I ask for the flinch, we generally get the flinch. That's all I need. Uh, Maril. I'm gonna go into Ghastly just to try and get Ghastly some XP. Because I really do want to get it evolved before the next gym. Going into the next gym with Ghastly not evolved means it's gonna get bopped and be useless. However, if it's a Haunter, it's still a very risky Pokemon to use in the next gym, isn't it? I don't think anything I do is gonna make me want to send in Ghastly against another Ghost type. But having it evolved is still nice, I guess. Meowth, you get bite, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 trying to lure me into a false sense of security with your Meowth being a normal type. I know that thing gets bite. Growl. Okay, but it could have bite. And I'm not playing that game. Karate Chop doesn't quite take it out and we're gonna finish him with a low kick. We are sped. We are sped a Meowth. Interesting. Wouldn't have said we would normally outspeed there, but okay. 
You also have to get my chop up two levels. For the ideal team. Nothing here, great. Nothing here, great. Nothing here, great. Why is that tree a different color? Why? What's that? It's like it's a snow tree. I'm curious now. How, I want. I want to know more about that tree. Either way, we still have an encounter to get. That I completely forgot about. Our encounter is going to. Okay, right. We've seen Pidgeys. We know we're doing dupes. It's a good thing we're doing dupes, and we don't have a team of 18 Pidgeys. Um. Right. Our encounter. For Route 37. I know there's good Pokemon in this room. I know there's fire types in this room. I mean, it's Spinarak. Woo. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can get like Vulpix and Growlithe on this route. And I don't really care for this Spinarak. It's just gonna sit in the box. There's no way we get to a point where we're using this Spinarak. I would much rather use Ninkata. I have this Caterpie. We're not using the Spinarak. We'll go ahead, we will call you, um... Uh, Salmon, I guess, because that makes sense. And, um, yeah. Yeah, we have ourselves a spinner egg. Okay. So let's see what else we could have got. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Why? Why did we have to get a spinner rack? Are you serious? Are you serious? What else could we have gotten? Alright, just rub it in. Okay, okay, okay. Just rubbing it in. Okay, that's fine. That's wonderful. I love rubbing it in. Okay. Um, this just proves that it's not only Johto Pokemon in this game. The other Pokemon are there. We're just very unlucky. Oh, a Pidgeotto. Wow, exotic. Oh boy. That's, that sure is a special Pokemon right there. Alright, I've seen enough. I know we could have got better Pokemon. That's about all I needed to see. Uh, I'm just going to skip them for now. And we're going to go ahead. Put ourselves... Uh, Ghastly in front. And Turbo in second. And run into this battle, I guess. Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. That's not true, they can breathe. Uh, they can use Snore. She's lying. I'll show you how scary that is. I don't have Snore, please don't. Don't do that. Don't sleep out of Mudkip, here we go. Oh no. Psychic Kefrina sends out Meditite. Does Meditite even get a move that could put me to sleep. I think Dazzling Gleam will one-shot it, that's why I'm staying in. Yeah. Does Meditite learn Hypnosis? Or Yawn? Or anything like that? I don't know. Still easy level for us, sure, sure. I lost, that's pretty sad. Imagine your Psychic-type Pokémon losing to a Poison-type. The past is already written, the ink is dry. Ink, Inkay, Malamar. That's his team, Inke and Malamar. Please? Drowsy. Well, that's not quite right, is it? Come on, you said Ink. You got my hopes up to see an Inke. Uh, I guess we just go into Turbo, because Turbo's full health. All of our team is, like, slightly whittled down, and that intimidates me when it really shouldn't. Like, our team is kind of bulky. Not tragically bulky, but good enough. Bike doesn't quite take it out, and we don't get a flinch, sadly. Poison Gas Drowsy. That's annoying. That's about all it is. It's annoying. Soup Potion. Is this fight gonna be enough? It should be. 
It should be. It is. There we go. Okay. Uh, everyone gaining a little bit of XP. Execute. I guess we go into the Noodle. I don't like Grass and Psychic type Pokemon. Because the best matchup we have is is not good. Oh wait, x -Scissor. I'm an idiot. I actually forgot about x -Scissor. Grass Psychic types don't intimidate me at all. I completely forgot. 100% forgot. Abra. Uh, we'll just go into Shax, I guess. It shouldn't have any moves. Well, I could have confusion, I guess. Generally, you get confusion when you evolve it, though, so... Should it really have confusion? Who knows? For now, though, we just headbutt, and that should be enough to take it out anyway. Because it has zero defense, and that's fun. 702 XP from an Abra. <laughs> I'm so happy we did that trade. Too bad. I should take the Lucky Egg off. I should do that. For now though, we're gonna heal up our team, run back and do that double well. Oh! Oh! Bill! Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, Carlos, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on the Pokemon Center trading system. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not using- I'm not using that. I'm not using the trading system. We have ourselves our link cables, uh, so we can get ourselves both Machamp and Gengar? Our team is really taking advantage of that at the moment, but still, uh, let's have a quick check of all the Pokemon that we picked up this episode, just to see if any of them have any inkling of usefulness. Cornflakes, you were the best Pokemon we caught today. Naive Nature, Frisk. Stats are okay other than HP, we're not using special attacks, that's fine. Uh, Tackle, Leer, and Astonish moves, that's a little bit bare, but that can be worked on. Uh, Lemon, the Bonsley, is a gentle nature, which isn't amazing. It's, again, its IVs aren't bad as such. It's pretty good defenses. Has Sturdy, has Rock Throne, Flail, and we have ourselves a Jolly Nature Spinarak. Again, IVs are okay. Has Insomnia to prevent sleep, and its moveset is garbage, because it's Spinarak. They're usable. Lake of Rage, the appearance of a Gyarados Swarm. I smell a conspiracy. I know it. Conspiracy? The way the Kimono Girls dance is marvelous, just like the way they use their Pokémon. Molly the Gym Leader is so cool, this Pokémon are really tough though. Are we going to have to fight... five Kimono Girls, or seven? I don't know, but I, I'm curious. Uh, for now though, let's take the Lucky Egg off of you, give it to Ghastly, so we can work on getting Ghastly nice and evolved. Boom, boom. I nearly gave it a Carbos just then, but no one saw that. Uh, let's go ahead and do this double battle that we skipped past, and see if we can gain enough XP on our Ghastly and matchup to get them to evolve. Unlikely, but we'll see. Till and I are in this together. Tori and Till. Interesting names. Marill and Marie. Uh... We should be just fine in here. Unless the Marie has Thunder and that Marill has, like, the Hydro Cannon. <laughs> That'd be the only way I would be really intimidated in this fight. Uh, we just... No, I'm doubling up on the Marill. It's raining. Feels like a strategy right here. Boom. Marill goes down. Now there's only one move that can hit our team. We should be fine. That's not a whole lot of XP. Uh, but okay. Okay, I guess. Rain continues to fall. It's fine. Just basically do the same thing. We did get growled, but I don't think Marie is living this. Marie nearly goes down to just one move alone. That's kind of sad. Marill is stronger than Marie. I guess Marill has evolved. Hmm. You're mean. I mean. 
I didn't think I was being mean. I just want a battle. Is that mean? That's kind of mean, isn't it? Dang. Let's go and explore. Ah, you're on an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Give me the diamond and pearl treasure hunting underground now. Am I right or am I right? You are absolutely right. Now gimme. <laughs> Good, you understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. The item finder that I will never use even though I love to look for hidden items. Ah, crazy. I heard there are items in Ecotique's Burn Tower. Maybe we'll use it there. Maybe. Oh! Now we don't need no item finder. We're fine. We found ourselves a Reaper Cloth. Interesting. Destroyed by a mysterious fire. Please stay away as it is unsafe. Uh, we will stay away for the rest of this episode. I hear Pokemon are rampaging at that Lake of Rage. I'd like to see that. Why would you want to see that? We find ourselves a Soof Bell. I am an item hunter extraordinaire. Excuse me. Is there anyone that I would want to give the Soof Bell to? If we got ourselves a Riolu instead of a Spinarak, I mean, that would have been a good Pokemon for it. But we didn't. We're gonna give the Carbos to Ghastly, because speed is very, very good on that Pokemon. Do we have any other things like that? We still have these Megastone A's, which I don't really understand yet. But maybe one day they'll come in useful? I don't really know when I'm meant to use them. Do I just use them on any Pokemon that would normally be able to Mega Evolve? Cough, cough, Gengar? At level 25, if I could have a Mega Gengar. We're gonna do some testing with that. As far as I know, you won't be able to surf and go across the sea unless you get five badges. How many do we have? Three? Equitique is the fourth badge, right? Yes. Okay. We're on our way. I'm positive there's a new cave left side on Route 40. Ooh. Oh, wait, I think I know which cave they're talking about. Find ourselves a Hyper Potion. Every rock and stuff has stuff in, doesn't it? Okay, right. I thought I was being a clever item hunter. No, they just all have stuff, apart from that one. Right, we're gonna save right here, and my reasoning for this is we're about to use the Metal Coat, and last time the game crashed on me. Just to make sure we don't lose anything, we're gonna save the game, and we're gonna immediately evolve this Onyx. Because Onyx is very, very useless, and I'm willing to just use it right here. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe we're missing out on a move, but honestly, I don't care. I'd much rather have just it evolve before the next gen. There he is. Look at him. With his beautiful evil eyes. Oh, we have ourselves a Steelix? That's amazing. That's a very, very big upgrade. Any more items while I am on the hunt for them? Reaper Cloth 2? Two? two Reaper Cloth? Huh. Okay. Dude. <laughs> Dude, please. Is that everything? Yeah, I think that's everything. I mean, we have a few more houses to check, but that can be left till next episode. I am very, very happy with this Pokemon. Timid nature, it kind of sucks. Look at that defense stat. There we go, okay, right. That is a good enough point to round up for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye.